क्लास इलेवेंथ केमिस्ट्री वी वर डिस्कसिंग यूनिट टू स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सेप्स ऑफ एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल्स एंड बाउंड्री सरफेस डायग्राम्स ऑफ एस पी एंड डी ऑर्बिटल्स फर्स्ट कम टू देप्स ऑफ एटॉमिक ऑर्बिटल्स द ऑर्बिटल वे फंक्शन साई फॉर एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन एन एटम हैज नो फिजिकल मीनिंग इट इज सिंपली ए मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन ऑफ द कोर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन For different orbitals, the plots of corresponding wave functions as a function of r, where r is the distance from the nucleus, are different. These are the plots of orbital wave function psi r as a function of distance r of the electron from the nucleus. This is for 1s and this is for 2s. You can see this as the radius increases. This is psi r. This is decreases for 1s. For 2s, first this is decreases and then it is increases. According to German physicist Max Born, the square of the wave function, that is psi square, at a point gives the probability density of the electron at that point. And again. these are the plots of the variation of probability density that is psi square r as a function of distance r of the electron from the nucleus this is for 1s and this is for 2s for 1s orbital the probability density is maximum at the nucleus and it decreases sharply as we move away from it you can see this is decreases as the distance increases from the nucleus on the other hand for 2s orbital the probability density first decreases sharply to zero and again starts increasing after reaching a small maxima it decreases again and approaches zero as the value of r increases further you can see this first decreases reaching to zero then small increase and again this is decreases charge cloud diagrams the reason where this probability density of function reduces to zero is called nodal surface age or nodes in general ns orbital has n minus 1 nodes number of nodes increases with increase of principal quantum number n in other words number of nodes for 2s orbital is 1 2 for 3s and so on these probability density variation can be visualized in terms of charge cloud diagrams in these diagrams the density of the dots in a region represents electron probability density in that region you can see you can see this charge cloud diagram this is for 1s and this is for 2s in case of this 1s as the distance from the nucleus is increases okay the density of these dots decreases what it indicates it is from as we go from nucleus far away the electron probability density of finding the electron is decreases in case of 2s this density of dots is more around the nucleus after some time after some distance this is nodal surface or node and again these down uh, density of these dots is increases and then this is decreases these are the charge cloud diagram for 1s and 2s then boundary surface diagrams these give a fairly good representation of the shapes of the orbitals a boundary surface or outline surface is drawn in space for an orbital on which the value of probability density that is psi square is constant a boundary surface diagram of an orbital represents the shape of the orbital which encloses a region or volume in which the probability of finding the electron is very high say 90% boundary surface diagram for s orbital is actually a sphere centered on the nucleus in two dimension this sphere looks like a circle all the s orbitals are spherically symmetric that is the probability of finding the electron at a given distance is equal in all the directions 
it is also observed that the size of the s orbital increases with increase in n you can see the size of 1s orbital is smallest 2s is larger than 1s 3s is larger than 2s and 4s is larger than 3s and so on you can also see these diagrams this represent the charge cloud diagram of 1s 2s and 3s okay that is dots density of dots represent the probability of finding the electron more the density more the probability okay and these are the boundary surface diagram this is for again 1s this is 2s and this is 3s in a plain paper if we represent them then these look like a sphere look like a circle okay you can say this is for 1s this is for 2s and this is for 3s boundary surface diagram for p orbitals number of orbitals in p subcell is 3 and ml values for p orbitals are minus 1 0 and plus 1 these are represented it means it is p orbitals are represented as px py and pz the size shape and energy of the three p orbitals are identical each p orbital consists of two sections and these are called lobes that are on either side of the plane that passes through the nucleus lobes are oriented along the x y or z axis the shape of p orbital is dumbbell shape you are you are familiar with these are the dumbbells okay and you can compare these with the shape of these p orbitals actually these p orbitals are present in the second cell that's why we have written 2px 2py and 2pz in case of this 2px these lobes are oriented along these along this x axis okay this is x this is y and this is z axis these are perpendicular to each other and in case of 2py orbital these lobes are oriented along this y axis in case of 2pz orbital these lobes are oriented towards or along the z axis order of the energy and size of the various p orbitals is in the order simply we can say as the value of n increases size and energy of p orbital is also increases 2p is smaller 3p is larger than 2p and 4p is larger than 3p and so on boundary surface diagram for d orbitals number of orbitals in d subcell is 5 and ml values for these five d orbitals are minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 and plus 2 and these five d orbitals are represented as dxy dyz dxz dx square dash y square and dz square and if they are present in the third energy level or third shell then we can write that is 3 dxy 3 dyz 3 dxz 3 dx square dash y square and this is 3 dz square if they are present in the fourth shell then we can say these are 4 dxy 4 dyz 4 dxz 4 dx square dash y square and 4 dz square we are discussing the shape of 3d orbitals okay all 5d orbitals present in d subcell are equivalent in energy four of the 5d orbitals are clover leaf shaped this is clover is a one type of grass and this leaf has the shape like this okay you can compare these diagrams with this leaf and this is like a double dumbbell shape okay now try to understand these diagrams in case of this 3d xy the lobes are oriented in between x and y axis not along the x and y axis in between x and y axis in case of this 3d yz lobes are oriented in between y and z axis okay 3d yz in between y and z axis in case of this dxz lobes are oriented in between x and z axis while in 3d x square dash y square lobes are oriented along the x and y axis this is x and this is y axis and these are the 
these are the lobes which are oriented along these x and y axis in case of 3 dz square this is little different the shape of 3 dz square is different from remaining 4 d orbitals okay in this case the lobes are lobe is oriented along the z axis and there is a one ring in xy plane is it clear this is the shape of 3d z square simple way to draw shapes of 5 3d orbitals this is a very simple way as we know these three axes x y and z these are perpendicular to each other and you can draw like this this is x this is y and this is z you can also change these axes you can also say what well, it it may be y it may be z or it may be x you can also write this okay or you can also write these axes suppose this is z and this is x in any way because these are perpendicular to each other that's why you can assign or the, you can interchange these axes okay now try try to draw these d orbitals 3d x y so we will assign the x axis to this and y is this then lobes of these d orbitals are in between these two x and y sorry this is x and this is y that's why this is 3 d x y now to draw this 3 d y z simply you change the name of axis now this is y and this is z now again lobes are oriented in between these y and z axis that's why this is 3 d y z now to draw this is x z we can name or we can assign this is z axis and this is x axis okay again these lobes are in between these two x and z for x and y uh, that is for 3d x square dash y square we assign x axis is this and this is y axis and in this the lobes are along this x axis and this is y axis is it clear and for this 3d z square this is x and this is z this is lobe is along the z axis and there is a one ring in xy plane so this is a very simple way to draw the shape of these d orbitals we have discussed about the nodal plane or nodes in s orbital okay now in case uh, nodes in p and d orbitals in s orbital there is only one type of node and that is that is called radial node okay in case of p and d orbital there are the two type of nodes are there radial nodes and angular nodes to calculate the radial nodes we use this formula n minus l minus 1 and angular node is equal to value of l okay now what is this radial node radial nodes are along the distance from the nucleus and angular nodes are at the plane or planes passing through the nucleus or origin for example in case of pz orbital xy plane is a nodal plane angular nodes in d orbitals in case of d xy orbital there are two nodal planes passing through the origin and bisecting the xy plane containing z axis in this way if you want to find out total number of nodes this formula is applicable for s orbital p orbital and d orbital okay and this is n minus l minus 1 this is radial node plus angular node that is l if we add these two we will get n minus 1 this formula to find out the total number of nodes we can apply for s orbital as well as p as well as d suppose if you want to find out the node in 2p orbital total number of or uh, total number of nodes are according to this this is n minus 1 and for this n is 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 then how many radial nodes are there in 2p you this formula okay for rare uh, radial nodes we can say for 2p so n is equal to 2 and l for p is 1 and this is minus 1 this is equal to 0 Is it clear? An angular node that is equal to the value of l, and for 2p value of l is 1. 2p has one angular node. 
and zero radial load. That's why total number of node in two P is one. In the same way, if you want to find out the node in case of any d orbital of any d orbital of third shell, that is three d orbital. Okay, then first you can find out the radial node is three minus l four value of l four d is 2 3 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0 radial node in 3d orbital is 0 and angular node is equal to the value of l and for the d value is value of l is 2 now if you find total number of nodes total number of node this is equal to n minus 1 and this is also this is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 is it clear in this way we can find out the nodes in s p and d orbitals difference is between orbits and orbitals okay i mean this is orbit and this is orbital orbits given by the bore and orbitals are obtained from the solution of schrodinger equation orbits represent the planar motion of the electron while orbitals represent the three dimensional motion of the electron all orbits are circular in shape and these orbitals are different in shapes from each other. Orbit is a well-defined path that revolving electrons follow around a nucleus, while orbital is a region of space around a nucleus where probability of finding electron is maximum. The orbits concept does not satisfy the Heisenberg uncertainty principle while orbitals concept completely compiles with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Maximum number of electrons in an orbit is given by the formula 2n square, while maximum two electrons can be present in an orbital. Okay, thank you.